April 1st marked UIW's annual tech fair, a showcase of technology funded by the university to help further students' studies. Though it took place on April Fool's Day, there was no fooling at the fair. Okay, well, maybe a little. Attendees got a chance to play musical bananas, code Minecraft, observe a 3D printer, and see one, make that two, robots. Dr. Thomas Adams, who's the curator of paleontology, uh, has discovered a, a crocodile skull. And he discovered this in Texas, and this is a 3D model of that skull. So we are helping him to do this. Otherwise, you would have to send away to these big companies and stuff. Uh, but we are able to actually help him uh, do this as part of community service and also for the students to learn about and emerging technology, the 3D printer. We're part of the Autonomous Vehicle Lab at UIW. We actually obtained a grant from the Air Force last year that uh, funded us to create a lab for autonomous vehicle research at the university. We actually, as of right now, have the largest infrared camera laboratory in the United States. So we do autonomous vehicle research, especially with helicopters and ground vehicles. Yes. We want several of the drones to actually work together, try to find a way of making formations while well, the flying helicopters or uh, control behaviors with the ground robots. So for example, for military purposes, you could have autonomous vehicles that could make formations as they do right now by being piloted, or you could uh, withdraw the pilot from a plane that is too fast. You're not hoping to make them like too intelligent, right? Just don't tell them. Like, like Terminator stuff. They can hear. They can hear you. He knows too much. <laughs> so we brought uh, one of our simulation mannequins to show some of the uh, of our simulation training in the nursing department. Uh, it helps our uh, student nurses to uh, learn about the specific things that are going on in a standardized way, as well as give them some clinical experience uh, that uh, is becoming a very crowded environment out in the in the hospital practice areas. This particular mannequin is called a medium fidelity uh, mannequin and so it can do breath sounds, heart rate sounds that we can manipulate to have different effects say uh, to be a regular uh, breath sounds or it can have like it has pneumonia or wheezing. Uh, we can also have pressure so that we can give it an IV uh, and there'll be fluid there uh, and we can take heart rate, uh, heart rate and blood pressure uh, on this one. One of the nice features is it, can, it has a few pre-programmed speaking things. It can say yes and no. It can moan in pain. So, are you having fun at the tech fair? Yes. Food and drinks were provided, as well as multiple presentations and a chance to win prizes at a raffle. The attendance record was off the charts, and a good time was had by all. Reporting for UIW-TV, I'm Aaron Mosmeyer.